It's your boy Chemist Nate coming at you with another banger determining the Ka from the Kb. You are given the Kb or the base dissociation constant for a weak base. How do you figure out the acid dissociation constant for its conjugate, i.e. the same thing but with an extra H? You're going to need the Kw, which at 25 degrees Celsius is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. But if you're given a different temperature, you might have to look up the Kw. Kw is always the product of Ka times Kb. And if you're given the Kb, then all you have to do to calculate Ka is divide Kw by it. Let me rewrite that for you. Ka is Kw divided by Kb. And you have to look that up or just know that it's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So you're going to be given a number for Kb. There it is divide Kw by it. Shall we do this together? Yes, we shall. I'm going to write out my formula. Beauty. That's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 for my Kw. And the Kb is given. That's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Now I'm going to do this on the calculator. Let me show you how I do that. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Now, 1.0 EXP is my button. It might say EE -E on yours or times 10 to the power of, but that E that appears means times 10 to the power of. Then all I have to type is negative 14. 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Beautiful. Divided by 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. This calculator will do all that scientific notation work for me. 5.555 times 10 to the negative 10. Cool. Let's write that down. 5. Point, now I'm going to keep the sig figs here. That was only two significant figures. I'm going to use 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. And I'm done. The end. Shall we do it one more time? Sure. Ka is Kw divided by Kb. That's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the number you're given. For aniline, it is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 10. Let's see what that gives us. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 4.2 times 10 to the negative 10. Calculator does it. 2.38 times 10 to the negative 5. 2.38 times 10 to the negative 5. Love it. That's it. Then if you're given a solution that contains that, you can calculate the concentration of H plus that's made, get the pH, you know, all that jazz that is probably the later part of the question for you. That was easy. All you needed to know was the formula, what Kw was, and probably how to use your calculator properly. Ha ha ha. Best of luck.